All right, today I got a quick video for everyone. I just want to show you how these print in place designs work. I've had a lot of people ask me, a lot of my friends and family ask me, oh, oh, that's so cool. How does the printer do that? So this video is specifically for you guys. So there is a couple different kinds of print in place supports. These dragons, for example, they have a vertical hinge that goes up through here to hold the parts together and it kind of loops around and it locks it in place. Then you have things like this. This is a, a clip a panel locking clip it clips the side panels of my printers in place i actually took this off one of my machines to show you so this one for example it prints a horizontal bridge across and it actually prints in midair so from one point to the other which is why it's called bridge so i'm going to show you on the slicer how this looks and i'm going to show you on the printer how it prints so you get an idea of how it works and then you'll know but here we go so let's look at the dragon that i showed you here is what the file looks like. We're gonna bring it into the slicer. We're gonna take it down to layer one and we'll go from there. So as we start increasing the layers, building on top of one another, you can see right here, there's four little rods. It looks like it's gonna be your hinges or your, your print in place parts that actually make this thing move in separate pieces. It makes it move in separate pieces. See here, it's building up. It's leaving a gap in between it all. And this is where it connects them, right there. On to another part, we have this cute little turkey right here. I'm gonna show you how it does the same thing, but it's up in a different way. You can see the path went across there. It's actually a bridge that goes across this point. And from that bridge, it's gonna build upon that as the second and third and continuing layers build up. So you can see here, as we continue to build up in layer by layer, it's going to have a small gap in between the whole thing. It's going to go to the very top and then it's going to close it off. So that's going to make these parts movable, which is awesome. And it'll continue building and close off right there. And it'll continue on up. We'll just get another couple looks at this from the side. You can see right here, there's the, the hinge that goes through there and you can kind of see it from the bottom right here on each side. Now for the super cool part, you can actually see the bridge getting ready to be made right here. I tried to get it up close to this, it was very difficult to do, but you can see the first layer just went across, now the second, it's giving that initial bridge. Just disregard the rest of the quality of this print. I had to pause and move it around a lot to get an up close shot of this. Just went ahead and took it off. That way you can get one good look at how it actually prints. You can see the couple layers that printed and this is the other one, the other hinge that actually printed multiple layers. Thank you all so much for watching the video. Like and subscribe for me. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time.